Hi everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well in your business studies and perhaps it may be daunting and challenging a little bit but you're getting through it. Um, I hope today's class will help you a little and let's look at what we will uncover today. We will look at corporate social responsibility. Okay, let's look at the word corporate social responsibility. It's a very big word, but if you break it down, um, let's remove the word corporate and just let's focus on social responsibility. Uh, perhaps you may be more familiar with the word social responsibility because it involves helping people, being nice, um, doing, doing uh, voluntary works, right? Um, helping the community, all right? engaging with uh, those who are underprivileged and those who need help. So social responsibility is essentially helping everyone all right from all walks of life or or giving back all right so the word corporate social responsibility here refers to companies giving back all right how do they do that basically they look at the business decisions that they make and they focus it on ensuring that it benefits society at large in making business decisions okay now how do they normally do that? What kind of uh, you know, examples can we use to say that companies, you know, uh, may, may be focusing on CSR or corporate social responsibility when they pay employees above the minimum wage, right? If let's say a country's minimum wage is 1,000 ringgit or, you know, uh, dollars for that matter, uh, above the minimum wage would be paying 1,500 ringgit or 2,000 ringgit, depending on how much the company can afford to pay, but of course it is above the minimum wage and that makes people happy, right? Apart from that, businesses uh, who produce or ensures that their production involves all safe chemicals, no animal testings and things like that, they too are somewhat involved in CSR. And if they provide good working conditions ab above and beyond, you know, what is uh, mediocre or what is on average or what is it just supposed to, that too falls under uh, an example of how a company may be engaging in corporate social responsibility. Okay, now that you have understood a little bit about what corporate social responsibility means, let's try out an activity where you've got to figure out and categorize all of these advantages and disadvantages into a proper slot because they are all jumbled up. So you need to identify which one of these are advantages and which one of these are disadvantages as what you see on the slide right now. So what I'll do is I'll leave you some time to actually do a match or, or, or you know, a, a pairing also to speak. Uh, there are four advantages and four disadvantages, but they're all mixed up. So you've got to rearrange them and we'll check out the answers in the next slide. Okay, now let's check your answers. Uh, the benefits of corporate social responsibility. Number one, customer loyalty. Well, uh, customer loyalty here means, of course, when a business is creating the right awareness and doing the right thing and producing something that is safe and you know benefits society at large, you would get customers uh, coming back to buy more from the same business. That is what customer loyalty means. They come back and do repeated purchases. And this is a very, very good thing for the business. At the same time, when businesses pay above minimum wage to employees, uh, this keeps them satisfied 
this keeps them happy and they don't intend to move so soon at least looking for higher salaries so there you go employee loyalty in terms of increased sales as apparently mentioned in customer loyalty coming back buying for more at the same time creating awareness to other consumers about the, t the way this business you know uh, conducts uh, itself in terms of the products and uh, and the services and things like that this would increase sales and finally good publicity how because with something uh, like this conducting CSR activities like you know giving back to the poor or producing something that is safe to be consumed you know uh, these are all ways to create awareness and people will start to know who this business is this creates good publicity in the eyes of society now there you go four out of four if you got all of this right well and good congratulations let's look at the second part of the answers that we are going to cover now the disadvantages to um, actually having to run or uh, conducting corporate social responsibility now a business would face increase in costs should they decide to be uh, more CSR active so to speak right why is that because well first of all paying min above the minimum wage is increasing costs right spending time or on R&D to develop different ways to test on their products apart from using them on animals that is also very very costly so this would increase the cost of the business and definitely they may have to look at pricing their products a little high as well now it's also seen as a negative publicity if it is a method of window dressing. What this basically means is that a company may use CSR activities to cloud the minds or to blur the, the views of important stakeholders uh, simply because they to show, you know, to be on a, on a good books in terms of um, or, or to replace what is not right on their financial statements so CSR may be used as a way to cover uh, their poor results in the financial portion of the business so it may be seen as window dressing and if it is seen as window dressing then the public and stakeholders may not give the good publicity that they're looking for thirdly this may lead in loss in sales because essentially businesses may need to price their products slightly higher than usual to cover up the cost that they spend on R&D and you know uh, uh, free animal testing and so free from animal testing and so forth. This may lead to a decline in sales where 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 you know some consumers may find it expensive to purchase a green products so to speak, and this may also. Uh, affect shareholders confidence because shareholders are looking at um, fast way of e achieving profits so that more returns come back to them as shareholders but spending more on R&D and and development and creating all this awareness would mean the returns may come much later than expected and this may cause co um, shareholders to feel um, not very confident about the company's standing and may pull out their investments or sell their shares. So there you go, you have four advantages and four disadvantages and this basically sums up the corporate social responsibilities, advantages and disadvantages. So in today's class, what we have learned is to understand the concept of corporate social responsibility right what is it all about how to define it uh, we also went a little bit deeper in terms of understanding how corporate social responsibilities if implemented by companies could be an advantage to them and a disadvantage to them as well we have come to the end whenever you see this slide we have come to the end of today's class and uh, i hope you're able to follow through and catch a few pointers here and there and um, i hope this has been useful for you uh, appreciate if you could actually subscribe so that you get updates on my latest videos and um, good luck on your papers if they're coming soon and good luck uh, on your studies as a whole um, till i talk to you again soon have a pleasant day ahead